Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video um, about bathrooms at college. Last year in Haven Hall at Syracuse University, I lived in uh, the building and there was pod bathrooms, which meant that um, you go into the bathroom space, you lock the door behind you, and it's just you in that bathroom sink toilet shower and you have that space it's locked and it's it's yours for however long you're in the bathroom so that was nice because of the privacy um but you should know that like at some time or another another person's going to be using that space so even if it's just you in the bathroom at that time you definitely want to make sure that you have shower shoes for safety and sanitary reasons and if you are using your toothbrush toothpaste um hairbrush that sort of stuff maybe bring like a towel to lay those things on just so that you are as sanitary as possible on the flip side this fall i will be living in a different building that has communal bathrooms so that's kind of like the complete opposite of what i just explained it is open and there will be stalls so there could be more than one person in the bathroom at a time stalls meaning to go to the bathroom and then stall like showers so people could be showering at the same time so it's a smaller building and it's a smaller space my hope is that it won't be as busy but um, just keep that in mind if you're living somewhere that has communal bathrooms you're going to want to have a safe and efficient way to keep your towels uh, hung up somewhere and if you have a shower caddy or something like that somewhere that you're going to have it to hang or just bring the things that you need for the shower or just bring the things you need to brush your teeth or whatever. I will also say if you are storing a shower caddy um, I used a mesh shower caddy so that the water could drain through and when I went to showers I would only take out the items that I was using for the shower and put them in the shower. I didn't put the whole caddy in the shower with me. That was my personal preference and I'd say if you're someone that wants the whole caddy in the shower with you, you do what works for you. Um, and then the only other thing with the caddies is storage when you're back in your room. I used a rubber shoe mat thing that had ridges in it and I just set the caddy on it and it was able to drain out any fluid, water, whatever that was uh, caught in the caddy itself. And I found that that was really helpful. It, it There were no issues with mildew or anything like that. I had her friends that said that they used command hooks and that really helps them too. So I guess that just goes to show you do what works best for you. And I know both ways were successful. So hopefully this helps. I know it's quick short video but i find that sometimes the things you don't think about you end up approaching the situation and it's just sometimes helpful to know about it ahead of time so i hope this helps and if you have any other questions please let me know and i can totally make a video and talk about it thanks for watching